guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the free to play account and we're gonna look at a couple different things when it comes to eternal graving, when it comes to red chest, when it comes to kind of the loot overall and what we're seeing from it. So overall with the AFK rewards, we're not seeing that many of our elemental um, shards. So elemental cores, as well as the elemental shards, we're not picking up too many of those, but now comes a kind of a pivotal moment that I want a lot of people to realize. So as we're going through here, and now the Noble Societies have reset. So now it is not um, levels one through five, level six. Now the no Noble Society does not have a level, but now we have to choose our rewards, guys. So between this one, it it's kind of tough because Twisted Essence is really good, especially if you're pushing the Elder Tree, the PVP um, Avenue, you have to have that Elder Tree built. But if you're looking at Po coins or if you're looking at our elemental shards, um, I, I would really say at this point, probably going with the Po coins because it is far easier to get three of nine furniture than it is to get um, level 30 when it comes to the elemental engraving. So both of them you can buy from the shop, which I do recommend every day, which we'll look at again. But again, it's going to be a pivotal point of now you're making a trade-off. And this is the other thing that a lot of players don't realize when it comes to the engraving system is now you have to make a, a solid choice with who you're going to build with having, I believe Hodgkin added the 88th hero, 87th or 88th hero. Um, if you're looking to build heroes, now you're taking the resources that you're accumulating even over the past um, couple weeks and months, and now you're splitting them even further into heroes you're going to build. So a lot of heroes that require the three of nine furniture or the nine of nine furniture, you're still gonna have to have the pull coins to do the summons to get those cards. But if they do need the engraving, now you have to have the mats as well to go ahead and get them to the level 30 or the level 60 engraving which right now is super expensive. So again, you kind of have to break it between these two. Um, if you're further with heroes being three of nine, nine of nine, if you have the core heroes built with the poke coins, I would go ahead and do the engraving. But even looking here is they don't give you very many guys. You get a hundred of your elemental shards here on um, 30 in the sub levels. So overall, you get a couple hundred through the 45 day period that we have this up. So looking at the heroes that we have, I'm not sure if we have any that we can engrave in here. Eins we can. So looking at the cost, guys, right here, it starts out at 100. So even that very first level would be one single stat to, to glyph. Um, and we know it gets really expensive really quick if you're looking to get to 30 or 60. Even if you're looking to go further to 60, if you're pushing it all the way up to a higher level such as 80, the cost gets astronomical. And again, that's why so many players are upset when it comes to the engraving system. We can pick them up out of the store, but similar to Red Chest, the elemental cores are purchased for um, diamonds only, and you only get 10. So you can spend 600 diamonds in here. You can get 10 of them. And I don't like when you buy this out. Um, there you go. So we got 20 of those. We have to refresh. So that is right, guys. It is 100 diamonds to refresh. So I'm spending... 600 diamonds there. I'm spending, I believe it is another 400 diamonds to refresh this three times, which we can look at right now. So 200 diamonds refresh. So that's 300. That makes 500. One more refresh, which is 600, right? Seven, 800. Yeah. So we spent our 600 on those, plus they made us refresh this. So we had to go ahead and pick up um, a couple more there. Always buy out the elite stones as well. But now, the, the other thing here is if you're buying out these mats just like I did, so you're dropping 600 diamonds in there, you're doing your two resets, you're dropping 800 diamonds in there. Over a couple days, those are summons that you cannot do. You're not going to have diamonds for summons um, because you're doing the refreshes in here. You, you're going to be limited again with the diamonds for summons, the diamonds for stargazing. Um, it, it's going to be a tough trade if you're looking at building some of the heroes with the engraving, which is the reason why a lot of players are choosing to go ahead and do the um, elemental shards and they're not going past the level 30. Level 30 is where they're staying. In here, you can pick up the Poe coins, which I always recommend as well. And again, with the Noble Society, it is going to be either the elemental shards or it is going to be the pull coins that you're looking to build exactly dependent on where your hero heroes are. 
Additionally, they did kind of the same thing with the Misty Valley. We looked at it for a quick minute. Um, looking here at the rewards, they've split the rewards as well. So coming down here, we have shards or we have red chest. We know the rarity of red chests and the power that they bring. I would absolutely pick up the red chests in here. But when it comes to red chests in 100 of our elemental cores, that is where, again, it kind of gets to where are you at within the campaign? Where are your heroes built? Because when you're done with Chapter 31, um, you're probably not going to use the engraving mat, especially because, again, they're pretty limited. I really feel like the red chests are going to be the value out of here to continue to pick up. Same with here, getting the elemental shards you can purchase with gold or the red chest. Go ahead and pick up those red chests. Here, again, is kind of a tough one, but because of the rarity, I would go with elemental cores here, red chest here, elemental cores here. But now you're missing 2,000, you're missing 4,000, you know, you're, you're missing thousands of pull coins that could be utilized for summoning, which again is, is very difficult because now you're splitting the heroes you're building or you really have to focus prioritize on the heroes that you're building all right guys we're going to look at one more example within the noble society and we'll go ahead and we'll switch over to the um pay to win account for that one all right so here we are with the pay to win account just like we've seen on the noble society this is actually the champions of espria the other one was the twisted bounty we still have a couple days left in this one so this one is again a lot more difficult because this one you're choosing between your red chests your red emblem chests and you're choosing between the elemental cores ultimately again i would go with the red chest just for the simple fact that taking a hero from 20 to 30 for most heroes are way way more important guys and i can't stress that um how much more important it is to get a hero from plus 20 to plus 30 then getting a hero from plus 30 to plus 60 and it seems like it's going to be infinitely easier to get them from plus 20 to plus 30 because of the events and things of that nature that still give us red chest. So I would absolutely continue just to pick the red chest out of here again because of the sheer cost of it. If they reduce, and this is what I really would like to see, um, reducing the cost of the engraving mats themselves. So even looking at the level requirement, so to add each one of these glyphs, guys, it is taking 300 of our elemental cores, meaning look at this, to even level up like these five, yeah, you're talking 1,500, that is right, 1,500 of these, and she's only at 60, to, to, to go above 60, you're talking 1,500, so getting 300 per level, we're only getting 10 out of here, guys, we are only getting 10, which again, it, it's just absolute crazy insanity, with how expensive those are. So guys, overall, I would continue to focus on the red chest, continue to buy out the red chest. We know it only takes a couple hundred to get a hero up to those plus 30 signature items. A lot of heroes only need a plus 20 signature item, but ultimately looking at the heroes, even looking at Silas, looking at Damon, looking at um, Pharrell, all the heroes that perform super well with that plus 30 signature item, Looking at the engraving aspect of it, the engraving is not really going to have the impact that you're going to see when it comes to the signature item. Even picking up these skills, so 5% damage there is just really pale in comparison to the ultimate abilities. So guys, like I said, overall, go ahead and focus on the red chest versus the um, engraving mats at this time. It is really going to be more beneficial. A lot of questions that I've been getting about this today. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.